What exactly is light? Well, sometimes it's convenient to think about it like a sort of special particle of energy, and other times we think of it as being like a wave. Both of these ideas work in different circumstances, but for this introduction to light, we'll think about it as a wave. In a different video, we'll think about how the shape of this wave is important, but here we'll just focus on what we can observe of these waves in our day-to-day -day lives. Some objects act as a source of light, meaning they give off light, and the sciencey word for give off is emit. Light bulbs and torches are an obvious source of light. We can describe sources of light as being luminous. Our eyes can only see an object if the light is reaching the eyes from that object, but that doesn't mean everything we see is luminous. Most objects are non-luminous, but we see them because light bounces off the objects. We can say that these objects reflect light. The light that reaches your eyes, either from a luminous object or from a non-luminous object that light reflects off, is absorbed by special cells in the eye. So materials can emit, reflect, or absorb light. Some objects, like glass, don't do much of any of those things. Glass is much better at letting light pass through. This is known as transmission. We can say that glass transmits light. Some objects, like clear glass, are transparent, which means they transmit light very well. Other objects, like tissue paper, transmit some light but scatter it so we only see a blurred image. Tissue paper is not transparent, but translucent. If you stood on the opposite side of a wall, you would find that no light is transmitted through it. We'd describe this object as opaque. You might know that sound, which travels in a different kind of wave to light, can travel through air by making the air particles vibrate. Light is different. Light doesn't require physical particles to travel which means it can travel through space. Space is a vacuum. No, not that kind of vacuum. In science, a vacuum is a place with nothing in it, not even air particles. And it's because light is able to travel through the vacuum that we are able to see light from the sun and other stars. Light travels at a speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. That means if a light wave went on a journey around the earth, it would loop our planet about seven and a half times in a single second. Even at this incredible speed, it takes light 8.3 minutes to reach the Earth from the Sun. Because we have to talk about such big distances in space, the very fast speed of light is often useful in describing these distances. One light minute is the distance, not the speed or time, that light travels in a minute. So we can say that the Sun is 8.3 light minutes from Earth. To put that in context, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is 105,700 light years in diameter. Yeah. Big.